In this video, we're gonna talk about the top 10 life-changing money decisions coming up. So it goes without saying, the financial decisions that we make can be life-changing in either direction. They can really catapult us to uh, a level of financial freedom or they can lead us down to financial debauchery. So right now we're gonna talk about the 10 life-changing money decisions that will put you on the right path to financial freedom. Number one, seeking financial education. Um, I put this at the top of the list because educating yourself about money is paramount when it comes to really understanding how to conduct yourself from a financial standpoint. Um, one of the things that is so crippling for most of us is that we don't have financial education. Um, that lack of basic knowledge about you know how money works and what to do with our money, what things not to do with our money um, to put us in a better situation is really a key ingredient in keeping us from financial freedom and keeping us from being able to accomplish the things we want to do financially in our lives. And sometimes those things are complicated and sometimes they're very simple. But seeking education in those things is a very important step to putting you on the right track in terms of your money and building wealth. Number two, work within your support system as long as you can. Now, I wanna stress this specifically for people who are still in their support system, those who may be of a younger age who you know, are thinking about going out into the world and you may be still living with your parents, you know, under your parent's roof, you may be in college, you know, what, what have you. If you have a strong support system um, when you're younger, please stick with that as long as you can while you're building so that you can get to a point of really being able to maximize the money that you're going to make in your working years. Sticking with your support system as long as possible does help put you in the right place when you do ultimately get out on your own. And another thing that kind of goes hand in hand with that is avoiding consumer credit at all costs. Um, I know, you know, credit cards can be a great thing uh, specifically for people who know how to use credit cards and, you know, that education is out there, but you want to avoid consumer credit cards if you are just focused on consumer spending and don't really understand how to make credit cards work for you uh, from a wealth building standpoint that is going to help enrich your life in that way. If you don't have that understanding, please don't use credit cards for consumer spending. Don't use it for your emergencies. Just stay away from them if you don't have that understanding. This is a very pivotal decision that you can make that really will help you later down the line. Number four, be frugal while building capital. Now this is a a great way to really set yourself up for success because if you can kind of keep your bills and the things you have to pay for down by living frugally and not really getting into a very expensive lifestyle you can really start to build capital and set yourself up for wealth building really quickly now i know this is not an easy thing because you know people get caught up in lifestyles and people want to you know have these certain things in their lives and they want to be seen as having these certain things but if you can avoid that, if you can avoid that, even for a short amount of time, it will allow you to get to the point where you have money to do one of the next things that is very important. Number five, acquire profitable in-demand skills. Now, I know this is not an easy thing to do all the time because sometimes it will require a higher level of education, but if you seek this, if you do seek and strive to acquire those in-demand profitable skills, it will always pay you and you will always be in a situation where you will win with money in terms of making money. Now, you may falter in some other areas like investing if you don't have a clear understanding of those things. But in terms of making money, if you acquire skills that are always profitable and are always in demand, if you set out on acquiring skills, if you are a person that is, you know, highly seeking of those skills, you will always be able to make money because that is the core of being able to make money having those skill sets that do pay you that way. And these do change from time to time, as we've seen, you know, something that may be profitable to do right now as a skill may not necessarily be profitable in five years, but, you know, really having an understanding of that and what those things are and seeking those things, seeking to acquire those things, those skills will always be a good thing to do in terms of making money and making capital to do some of the other things that we're gonna talk about on the list. Number six on the list of top 10 life-changing money decisions 
is to save for emergencies. I know this can be one of those things that is not always on people's radar, but sometimes we are gonna have unforeseen situations arise and being prepared for those situations really can be life-saving in terms of building wealth and getting to financial freedom. You know, save for emergencies, build an emergency fund. And if you're not familiar with an emergency fund, we do have a video about that. I'll probably leave it down in the description box below. Number seven, start investing early. Now, this is one of the things that goes without saying that definitely will lead you to financial freedom freedom and building wealth if you start investing as early as possible. I know a lot of people we wait until, you know, we get into wanting to retire and you know, we've been working on jobs for a long time to start thinking about investing. But if you can start thinking about investing in your early years, the earlier the better because investing is really about compounding your interest and turning smaller amounts of money into larger amounts of money over time. So the earlier you can do that, the better off you will be. And that doesn't mean you have to invest in the stock market or anything like that or in real estate. You can invest in yourself. It's just about you know starting that early, whether it be entrepreneurship or stocks or what have you, starting early to understand that investing is going to be an easier path to building wealth is a great thing to do. Number eight, avoid lifestyle creep. Now this goes right along with living frugally where you really don't get into the situation where every time you start making more money, you start, you know, improving your lifestyle because that can be a really drain on your pocket, you know, and this happens to most people. Most people, when they start making more money, the first thing they do is they go buy a more expensive car, they buy a more expensive house and they get into a situation where they're always living above their means. So. What you want to do is you want to avoid lifestyle creep at all costs and that is a great way to start building wealth and start to maximize the income that you're actually making in terms of investing and doing all of those things that are going to build wealth number nine understanding your taxes now this is a big one as well because a lot of times we start making more money but we really don't understand the tax code so we end up giving a lot of that money back to the IRS um, so one of the most powerful things that you can do as you start to build wealth is really understand your taxes understand the tax code because that's gonna allow you to keep a lot of the money that you're actually making it's funny that if you understand your taxes you can actually end up paying less to no taxes on making more money versus you know someone who is working every day and they're actually paying more taxes so really understanding your tax code as you start to make more money can be a life-changing decision number 10 nurture the things in your life that bring you happiness without money now this is a very very important thing that we often overlook specifically when we get on our path to financial freedom or trying to build wealth you know we go all in on all these things and we're learning so many things but sometimes we leave out our happiness and we leave out you know the things that we're able to do to make ourselves happy without money and it's so important that you nurture those things and understand what those things are because when times are hard or even when you get to a point where you're making more money and you're doing all the things that you want to do you want to still be able to lean on those things that make you happy without money because that is the foundation of true happiness and that is the foundation of what is going to keep you happy in the long term. I hope this has been extremely helpful for someone and until we talk again I wish you health, wealth, and freedom.